Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So this is just going to be a Brian Plays video. I just feel like playing some ColecoVision. And what better game to start with than Donkey Kong. One of the best games, I think, to come for the system. Let's crank that volume up a bit so we can hear it. Fortunately with my volume meter, it's, it sits there for a while. Now this game, obviously, I mean the graphics at the at the time beat out a lot of the other Donkey Kong versions of the day. I would think, you know, like the Intellivision one wasn't much to sneeze at. <laughs> there you go. And I think to a lot of people this looked like the actual arcade. I mean, it it kind of does. Comparing it to the other ones, like comparing it to the Atari, it definitely did. The sounds are there. I'm sure it's missing the um, the intro piece uh, where he climbs up the ladder. Uh, it misses the little parts where he does, you know, grab her and runs up to the next flight. Even that, I mean, it just switches to the next board. You don't see much happen. There's no animation there. Now this was a big thing too, because both the Atari and the Intellivision version did not have this level. And this is a very popular level, I mean... Now the absent thing that's in this one is the springboards are supposed to be bouncing and falling. And that's pretty much the challenge of this level. So without those springboards, this level really is not hard. I mean, this is just, oops, me jumping through the thing, but just after I say it's not hard. But yeah, this this is, uh, you know, missing the, the real challenge of the level is the springboards. Oops. Other than that, I mean, comparing this to the other Donkey Kongs of the day... Oh no... Still having a hard time with this controller. Sometimes I wish I could just, like, swap controllers. I got those Super Action controllers on order. Hopefully, um, they work when I get them. I bought them on eBay, so hopefully they work. But, uh... Oh. This isn't as easy as I thought it was. <laughs> you know, I even considered uh, doing the whole swap a you know, where you start the game, because you only need this controller, the uh, ColecoVision controller, to press 1 to start the game, I think. And uh, after that, I mean, you could swap the controller out for an actual joystick, like an Atari joystick. I always thought it was funny that it goes to this level again. Like, it doesn't go back to the, the original barrel board. It's like it goes to the... the starts off with the original barrel board. Whoops. Just ran in there. It starts off with the original barrel board. Then it goes to this stage, which uh, I think is considered the... Uh, or called the rivet stage. And then it goes to the elevator stage, and then it goes back to this rivet board again. Now this is supposed to be the top, so when you're playing the game, this, I believe, is supposed to be the very top. Then there's also a pie level, which is not on this version. And that one usually comes uh, just before, the, I believe, the elevator level. But you have to complete a bunch of boards before you get to that pie stage. If you play on the uh, computer, you can change the uh, difficulty setting so you start off where you can hit that pie stage. I actually showed that off when I played my uh, Atari 400 uh, Donkey Kong. Now that guy's there and I'm just gonna have to wait. I can't go anywhere until, you know, he's, he's there. I can't, what am I gonna do? I can't do anything. I don't, I, you know, you can't get a hammer. 
So he's gonna wait till he runs away. Ah! And jump into him. Now that's the other thing, is that this game seems to give you a heck of a lot of lives. Whoops. That was just poor usage of the controller. I think there's like five lives this game gets you. Something like that. I don't know. Let me get my drink here. Try that again. I think I have to hit... Ah, okay. So on the Coleco controller you have to hit that um, asterisk symbol to restart the game. Let's get the hammer. The sound effects are good. Now, one thing we always wished we could do in this game was throw the, the hammer. Now that's something that doesn't actually get uh, added into the Donkey Kong world until the Game Boy. Which I believe is like 1994 when that Game Boy Donkey Kong, I actually was just doing a live stream of it. Um, much different game though. It's more of a puzzle game. Up to Pauline. See, it's missing those, those animation steps. You typically get them in the computer versions. I guess they felt that it would have been too much programming just to add that a little extra flair in there. Just to show Donkey Kong grab the girl and run up the stairs. On the computer, they have a little bit more room. Because they... Um, I guess... I don't know. Maybe because of the power of the computer. Or the the fact that it usually would be on a diskette. Or... Then again, the cartridges were... I mean, my Donkey Kong's on a cartridge, so... Oops. That's my usage of the... Uh, Joystick. Ah, I did it again. Unbelievable. <laughs> Let's just go up and up. Get the umbrella. It's just points. I mean, they don't really do anything. But when you play for points, you gotta get them, right? The jump on this game, too, is pretty good. I mean, Mario does have a pretty good jump. Whoa! Tried to jump that way, but he just jumped up on me. You can do it! Cool thing about this game is it came packed with the ColecoVision. Oh, man, I hit that thing and it killed me. I guess it squished me. But yeah, this came packed with the ColecoVision, which is awesome. I mean, this is probably what propelled the ColecoVision above things like the Atari, which came with combat, uh, which is, you know, a two-player game. It's not like there's anything wrong with combat. It's just, it's a two-player game. You can't even play it with one player. Oh, I did it again. Man! That sucked. Anyways, yeah. This was just a quick Brian plays. I just felt like playing some Donkey Kong. I love this version. I mean, it's really fun. And it really feels like you're playing Donkey Kong on the arcade. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. This is the first just me playing for whatever. Just for fun. And just to have to, you know, try out uh, Donkey Kong. Um, and if this is good, you know, maybe I'll do a couple more. Anyways. Thanks for dropping by. Talk to you later.